So I was in Waterloo Markets in Amsterdam uh, over the weekend and uh, on the floor they put a lot of second-hand clothing and uh, I mean sometimes I'm surprised at the quality. I couldn't pass these shirts. I found these men's shirts, they're all quite big. This is XXL. So I was trying to choose the biggest possible because then it gives me more fabric to play with. So anyway, I absolutely love this shirt because it has all the little uh, flower trims and uh, color and the buttons and it has quite a lot of detail that's very pretty but I found three shirts that go very well together this one being the second one with the uh, um, I mean it's not a plaid and it's not gingham it's like square grid this is gingham um, I want to do some a little bit of patchwork because that's my jam. That's what I like doing and um, I'm gonna see if I could make something really quite feminine with these shirts. I've already washed them They smell lovely and uh, I can't wait to get into it In my stash, I found this lovely lace That I thrifted a while back um, I think it was a shop that went busted and I got a whole bunch of different laces. I quite like this one. I think it would look really nice with the shirts, just to soften the shirt. Um, I also have this one, but I think this one is a bit elastic. I think it's for um, like underwear, but I think, I don't know if I want to maybe decorate just the one or, or the two of them. Maybe do like uh, princess, um, a princess seams with this lace. Yeah, so that's a lovely lace as well. It's very pretty. And uh, I think it all looks really nice together. I think I'm gonna, um, I know some people will be screaming because I'm cutting these shirts. But I am making a beautiful dress. Um, and in my book, these ones are going to get back to be used instead of throwing in the market on the floor. So that is what it is. I am reusing. I am making the, the best out of fabric that was thrown out on the floor. I just ironed this shirt and I realized there's um, like a, I don't know if you can see, it's like a pink uh, maybe it's a red wine, I don't know, or a juice or something. I've gone through my stash and I found some uh, pillowcases that have been cut off already uh, with a lovely trims. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can cut whatever is marked and uh, use this fabric to make one of those beautiful dresses. I also have this little pile of cottons that I got from my little strip in the thrift store. I wash them because they, they were in there for a long time and they have this, you know, musty kind of smell about it. I already ironed this one, you know, being blue. So I think this blue with the shirt and a little bit of that lace here, I think I see if I can get like at least a peplum kind of top. With uh, I will reuse the sleeves and I do like um, puffer sleeves, hopefully. But I'm going to try to save as much fabric as possible and uh, either cover or create a new panel with one of these fabrics. Um, yeah, that's what I would do it at the moment. I really like the combination of them three. I think they look really nice. I like the little pop of red as well. Okay, so this is my pattern from the blouse that I made here in the channel. Okay, so it's uh, this one here. Let's put this one here. I'm gonna use it around here. There's some color here as well. Yeah, so as close here as possible. There. Right, this one, I might reuse the pocket because it seems fine. The marks are just there. 
So I might reuse the pocket and I might reuse some of the fabric here. Anyway, that goes so in pile. I just wanted to show you what I've done for the bodies. Uh, it wasn't long enough, this piece. So I have to add up a little bit in here, which I think will be perfectly fine. And uh, this is how the front looks right now. I think it's very cute. I'm going to cut the bag and then stitch the sleeves together and then see if I could get a peplum out of those two fabrics. So I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I just seen ripped this lovely lace of this scrap that I have in my stash. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it here to the blouse. I think I might even pick a little bit of the buttons and uh, I'm gonna stitch it here. And uh, I'm gonna leave it there because I think I really like how it looks. So I'm gonna stitch it here and stitch it here. And I already started sewing the back to the front but then I thought it's a lot easier to do it when it's flat. So I'm going to do this now. Isn't that lovely? I think, I think this lace is lovely. And uh, it was easy to rip off this here. So I can still use this for even the skirt part of the uh, peplum. I really love how the buttons get highlighted that way. I really like it. Okay, so I've done the bottom half of the shirt. What I've done is I added two pieces on each side of the peplum and I stitch it just a little bit to let it open here so it won't be closed up. It will open a little bit and flap a little bit to show it was a shirt. So now you can see how much bigger the peplum is from the shirt. I'm thinking of offsetting it. I'm gonna sew it such that it's offset from the middle. So that's the center. But I'm gonna put this offset a little bit from the center. And also, I wanted to use some of this other lace here again. And I might do the same thing as there, but I might mimic it here. So um, I need to rip off a little bit more of this lace here. Sorry. I need to rip off a little bit more of this lace and stitch it here and then pleat all of that and put it together. But I think it looks nice like that. Yeah, I, I think I like it offset and with that kind of going this way. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyway, we're doing this one now and in here I'm gonna make something a little bit more girly with this. As much as I love this color and these colors here, I'm gonna chop the uh, color off. I really like this. I have a, another plan for this, maybe for the next video. I'm gonna make a very girly dress. I've gone through my stash and I found this meter and a half of this lovely cotton. I just searched the edges. I cut two big ruffles and two um, slightly smaller ruffles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the fabric because I'm going to make it much shorter up. And I'm going to cut it like, a, how you call it? Like an empire, kind of just underneath the chest. I'm going to cut it. So the rest of the fabric and fabric of the sleeves uh, is going to be added to these ruffles and to make um, a dress. 
Just playing with the laces. I think I might put one in here and these two here. Yeah. That's my front. This is the first um, part of the skirt. I just stitched all these together. And uh, I'm just cutting some pieces of lace, this lovely lace. Um, and I'm going to be stitching them just across random places like that. The first ruffle of the score. Yeah, I really like it. And uh, this is the bodice done ready. Very nice. I really like it. The little red picking here. I might chop it a little bit so you can actually even see a little bit more. Obviously, cut that off as well. That would be nice. Yeah. The first layer. I really love these fabrics together. This is the inside. enjoyed the video. I had an idea of making a dress with inspiration of Zimmerman. I like all the lace and, and all the placements, how they do the dresses. And uh, I thought, I wonder if I could do a refashion with uh, some men's shirt. Uh, this shirt I really like because of the detail of the cuffs, the details on the uh, placket. And uh, I really wanted to make a dress out of this one. I've made this blouse with this one and um, I think I might still extend it um, and make it into a dress. I'm also thinking of changing the sleeves to pinch it a little bit to make, give it uh, more of a round shape. Overall, I really like this blouse too and I, I like this uh, the dress the most. Um, I've learned a few things. Just because it a men's shirt say XL uh, doesn't mean they're all big or they're all the same size. Uh, these two, these two shirts, I think had the same label, and yet this one was much bigger than this one. I didn't have a lot of fabric left, and I only have to cut the sleeves from the uh, original shirt and putting it into my new bodice, my new shirt, and um, just uh, do a little pleat, a box pleat right in the center so it gives it a little bit of um, volume as you can see here it's kind of cute i really like the cuffs and i wanted to keep it and uh, you can see in the detail of the dress i had some lace going on in the front and a little bit on the back i didn't carry the lace on the bottom of the skirt on the blue bit and i think it looks a little bit wrong i think i might need to put a couple of um, um, pieces i think it will look more cohesive with the whole skirt and dress on the top looking similar. I didn't have enough fabric of the blue shirt to mix up on the bottom of the skirt. I would have loved to do a little bit of uh, what I normally do, which is like following the visual of the whole pieces of fabric throughout the whole dress, the, the whole fullness of the skirt. It is what it is. Uh, when you're doing an upcycle, you only have so much fabric. And uh, I think I have like the tiniest little bit of uh, fabric left, a uh, tiny, tiny little, you know, like cutting in the seams and things like that, but not much left. I wish I had more, but I I love the the top. I love uh, making like a shorter bodies. And I think um, in here, I should have done the same thing. I should have done it a little bit shorter and um, because it, it looks very boxy at the moment. But I do like the decoration and that, that was my first one I made. And then I wanted to do the dress. I still have another blue shirt and um, it is like a gingham and I have different type of blue and green gingham and I'm thinking of maybe mixing up and making like a very flowy skirt again and having fun with that. But anyway, um, I, uh, I'm very happy 
uh, with the result. This dress, I generally, generally love it. This one, I might make some changes. I'm learning the skills at the moment. I have uh, dreams of uh, an upcycling um, brand. I would love to make and sell dresses and jackets and blouses. Um, yeah, it's a, at the moment I'm just practicing. I'm gonna be uh, using uh, some patchwork with all of the projects that I've done with all the leftover fabrics. And hopefully I'm gonna make like a nice dress or blouse or whatever item I might decide to do. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like what I made. And if you did, please give a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought, what you would have done. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.